today. Let's go. But let me start by reducing these 34 counts down to what they really are. What they are really saying is that Americans, you don't matter. Your vote doesn't matter. Your constitution doesn't matter. Your freedom, your life, your liberty, your pursuit of happiness, they don't matter. Saying in the last couple of days, I mean, Tim Scott, who obviously wants to be the vice president, he posted a full minute video saying that Alvin Bragg is the only one who's guilty, called the trial sham and a witch hunt. The only verdict that matters is the one at the ballot box. Okay, but, you know, Rubio literally compared the trial to Cuban show trials. Didn't mean to trigger. I'm just reading <laughs> quotes. Really um, because Byron Donalds, who is from East Flatbush, Brooklyn, as myself, and Tim uh, Scott, who is from the great state of South Carolina, and Marco Rubio, who is Latino, they know damn well who normally ends up at the bottom of this criminal justice system. For the actual system. victims of a two-tiered system exactly. of justice, which he has co-opted yes. that term. They understand fully because they have lived in the bodies of black men, those two black men, and they're willing to sell themselves cheap. Cheap. Not even Clarence Thomas will do that. At least he requires it to be expensive. For them, it can be absolutely dirt cheap, free. That's the cheapest it could be. To sell your soul and the and the the lives and memory of all of the black men and women and brown men and women who have suffered in a criminal justice system where they can't delay it, where the Supreme Court won't help them, where they won't have Samuel Alito fly an upside down flag for them, where they won't have any of the benefits that Donald Trump has used to kill every case but this one, including humiliating Fonnie Willis in Georgia to try to shame her out of prosecuting him. The good thing, uh, the one good thing that happened here is that this case was brought in a state that no Republican controls. Because if it did, the same thing that happened in Georgia would have happened here. Thank God for the state of New York, Donald Trump's home state, because there was no way for him to interfere with the process of justice. And in this rare instance, as somebody who's quite critical many times of the criminal justice system, the system actually worked. Matter because the, the Braggs of the world, the, the Letitia, whatever her name is, the Fannies, the Bidens, the Merrick Garlands, all of these people, the, the corrupt Judge Mershon and Ingeron, they're saying to us that no matter what, we are going to have power over you. And tonight, America, we have just been given, you're talking about Martin Luther, he nailed the 90 something theses to the wall over in uh, Germany. Well, guess what, America? We have 34 counts plus our constitution to nail to the left. We have to take it literally to their head. As David told Goliath, who is this, you know, this uh, beast, if you will, that is going to uh, trample over us and basically say that I am nothing. This is, this is ungodly. This is evil, like KJ said. And we better rise up. Go look at the 2020 Democratic platform in the platform, Trump is mentioned 120 times in 92 pages. Their whole plan has been to get Trump. But in executing that plan, you have to implement Marxism. You have to implement uh, this brainwashing campaign, which seemingly has been successful since 2015, since he rolled down the elevator of we hate Trump, we hate Trump. They have been successful. So you have to start looking at these things. I Again, I encourage everyone, go read the platform and see what it says for yourself. Wanted of, this. Those you have a bunch are. of useful idiots in this country. Absolutely. Right? And, and you, have a, you have a bunch of people that have grown up, uh, you know, hearing the message that America is bad, America is racist, America is fundamentally all these things. So when they have the opportunity, one, to go along with the masses, go along with the mainstream media, and to have this sense of fitting in because they got yep. Trump. Right. They're going to make that that same decision. Right. Not because they're 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 necessarily evil or malicious because they have this sense of I want to fit in. I want to fit in. But, you know, we, we have a lot of people that are under, that don't understand the founding of this country. You know, people like Frederick Douglass would say the Constitution is a liberty document. It's a document representing freedom. And what you have are these people stomping on it and say it and turning it, essentially turning their back on America because they yep. don't know what it means to be an American. Again, this fight isn't about Trump. It's about you as an American. If, if they can do this to a sitting president 
just making up charges as they go along and the defense really can't defend anything because that would mean you have to agree that the charges were legit in the first place like you know th again a banana republic we're instituting communism in our face and americans because they don't understand what it means to be american are just going right along with it now judge should be impeached Alvin Bragg should be impeached. New Yorkers, you need to put your head on correctly. I don't they know where this. you all are. They want this. They vote for this over and over. When you can run your election on, I'm going to prosecute Trump. I'm going to get him hell or high water. And you get overwhelmingly elected. This is what they vote for. Yeah. I blame say Marxism. That's what it is behind it all. And the, and the Democrats, they don't want to, they don't want to show you and, and come out outwardly and say they're full on Marxist. It's Satan. It's Satan that we are fighting against people. Marxism is Satanism. Marx, Karl Marx was a Satanist. Look it up. Look it up. And everything that he taught and pushed was because he hated God and he wants us, America, to follow along the same path to hell. This is right. where this is what it is. This is why I said we're not fighting Republican Democrats. We are fighting against uh, evil principalities in high places. Absolutely. That's what we're fighting against. And Absolutely. I mean, and the only way you're going to take it down, the sword of the spirit, we have to come in and we be like David, we can get three rocks and a slingshot and take down the uncircumcised Philistine. This is an abomination. America, do you not understand that what just happened is beyond Trump? This is about our country. We will not have a constitution. We will have a Marxist communist constitution, if you want to call it that, that's what we're going to have. We will have the former USSR, who is no longer, that's no longer in existence. We will have the uh, Afghanistan. We will have the Muslim angle, if you will. We are, we are being trampled on and you better wake up. Don't let people intimidate you about supporting Trump. You know, educate yourself on the facts like we have, it's nothing racist about it. It's nothing misogynistic about it. It's nothing anti-Semitic about it. We are patriots. We love this country. We hate what they're doing to it. We hate how they have used the justice system, weaponized it against someone. It's clear as day. There were people talking about this trial from across ideologies who said it was a joke. So it's nothing wrong with it. Wear your Trump stuff proudly and speak up about it proudly. Yes. But what this uh, verdict or uh, conviction has also done is it guarantees basically that no one can go into a court for virtually anything now and not and, and be able to trust the system. You, you, you just can't. Our whole system has been turned upside down. And we say this a lot. Leftists love rewriting history. They love being the first, the first black person this or the first LGBT. They always want to be the first at everything that destroys everything, destroys the good, destroys the beautiful. So now these people, I'm calling them people, and that's putting it mildly or putting it gently. They have destroyed for all intents and purposes, at least in the short term, the trust that we should have in our legal system. Now, let a criminal go to court. Go to, I mean, they can have whatever evidence. And I'm going to be wanting to say, well, how do we know it's not stacked up against them? Yeah. How do we know that? We can't trust it. No, we can't. This is what they want. They right. wanted it like this. I mean, it's not just this. So this whole thing with Trump's going on. And at the same token, you have the same people who are saying that get Trump with the law system are complaining about Supreme Court justices and flags they fly at their house to get them to recuse themselves from cases that they care about in the Supreme Court, right? So it's not just that they're coming at Trump, they're trying to dismantle anything in the system that's there to protect us and any and they'll find any excuse or look for any reason to attack anybody that doesn't ideologically align okay. with them. They'll use while accusing all those same people of doing it to them. Yeah. Right? Like oh we are fighting against spiritual warfare, guys. You know, this is what this is. The Democrats have gone full commie. 
We see it in everything that they do from the education system to uh, culture, to our law system, to criminality. They are pushing Marxism. And what is behind Marxism is Satanism. That is what it is. And one of the main core tenets of Satanism is to inverse everything. Absolutely. So they make things that we think have are, are truth. They turn it and they say lies are truth. They say pure, no more purity. They want to sexualize everything. They want to uh, pervert everything. This is why we're seeing this whole trans ideology push because they want us to make believe that that is right and being heterosexual is wrong. It is all behind it. And it yeah. is sick. It is a perversion. And what they are banking on is for us to be quiet and let them go on about what they want to do. Well, they, they've, they've been largely that. successful so far because, mm -hmm. again, like you know, one, it started in the civil rights movement when it was easy, right? Because communists are revolutionaries for revolution's sake, right? And what they did, they created an easy revolution, which was the black versus white. Yes, there was historical struggles, but what happened was the communists capitalized on that to ensure that there was a continued struggle. So now uh, they use they use the black church, they use you know black folks even even now to start introducing communist ideas, right? To make seem make communism seem like it was a good thing. And because one, our, we're not taught these things in school. The civic education has largely been abandoned um, in, in, in our education system. When you get to college, you're taught more to hate America than to love the country. You can, you can appreciate the, the good things as, well, as, long as along with recognizing the bad. And because we have no foundation of what it means to be an American, what, it, what you know, the red, white, and blue actually stand for it's easy now to introduce these communist ideas and make it seem seem like they're good and when you see yeah. the media now um you know as a result of the election i'm not the election but the, the the verdict today just giddy about the decision even if you liked even if you wanted to get trump as a news reporter as a journalist you're not supposed to show your 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 emotion towards this case but the the you know the 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 media is largely in the pockets of the communists because they're happy about the out outcome they're smiling grimming la grinning laughing and high five and and they're supporting this communist nonsense 